What's up, everybody? How y'all doing, man? You know we got to talk our shit. You know we got to do the do. You know we got to do it, do. How y'all doing out there, man? We going to talk about registering dogs. That's what we going to talk about. Yes. We going to talk. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my dude, Vic. You know, want to give a shout out to my dude, Vic. Your papers is coming, bro. Your papers is coming. I want to give a shout out to Vic. You know, Vic from California. And give a shout out to Vic from California. Your papers is coming, man. We're going to talk about registering dogs the right way. Right? If you got any blue dogs, blue, any type of blue dogs, American bullies, um, you know, blue lacy, blue Paul Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, because them are the dogs that are blue. Them dogs right there are blue dogs. They people think, you know, blue dogs are pit bulls. No, they're not. They're not. But yo, we register dogs the right way. You know, we don't bullshit. We better than the ABKC. We better than the UKC. We better than the the um, ADBA. You know, this one dude said, "Yo, why your papers look like the ADBA?" So I did a I did a whole three sixty, right? Different papers, different quality. Top of the line, we register dogs the right way. If you got Merle dogs, Merle, you got any type of Merle dogs, I don't care what it is, Merle, whatever, it's a cattle who bulldog. It's not American bully. It's not a fucking pit bull. It's not a fucking um, American bulldog. It's not a fucking um, Alapaha blue-blooded bulldog. It's none of them. It's it's really a cattle who bulldog. If you got any Merle dogs, Merle, we will register them as cattle who bulldogs the right way with the OREBA. Yes, we register dogs the right way. Now. If you do not have no family tree, no pedigree, no, both parents got to have a family tree. And cattle who, Louisiana cattle who leopard dogs have papers and have family tree. Babble, babble, you, you don't have to like my video. You don't even have to watch it. You really don't have to watch it. Real facts. I love the Bull Terriers, the original Bull Terriers. I love them. I have them. But, yo, listen, and people got to understand this, man, right? This will stop this paper tag tagging, paper hanging, and shit like that. Word. You wrong, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but listen, um... If you put the pictures on the certificate, right? Say if this dog dies, right? Just, just say this dog's dead, right? I can't tag this paper and put it on another living dog. You understand what I'm saying? Like these people doing in this world. They tagging and hanging papers. There's a lot of them doing that. A lot of them. Yo, UKC allows it. UKC, yo, they do not care if one parent has papers and the other parent don't have papers. They will register the dog and call it F1 or F2 and shit like that. They will call it F1 and F2, shit like that. There's a lot of American... Staffordshire Terriers, there's a lot of American bullies that is tagged and hanged with the UKC 
the ABKC, and the ADBA. Terrible people in the world. Terrible. They do wrong and keep on doing wrong. Yes, I am the master of all bulldogs, and I approve this message. Yo, for my haters, punch y'all niggas in your face. Punch your moms in your face. For all my haters, tell your moms to lick, you know, the tip of my shit. Word. But yo, back to this. Real facts. Yo, this will stop this fucking paper hanging and paper tagging. Yo, DNA testing. Yo, um, putting pictures on the certificate, on the, um, the fourth generation, right? That will stop this paper hanging, this tagging and hanging papers that these fucking dishonest ass people in this world, there's so much dishonest people, there's so much fuckery going on in the dog community, so much fuckery in the American bully community, the American bulldog community, the English bulldog community, the um the Staffordshire Terrier community, the um band dog community. They call them these XLs American bullies. They really band doggies. You want to be technical about it. Let's let's be real. You know, people don't like real shit in their face. They like fake shit. They like liars. They love, you know, people love that lying to them. They must, but, you know, and if you do not have no pedigree, no family tree, no family tree, that means you have a mutt. Call your dog a damn mutt. That's what you have. Don't be mad. You have a mutt. You have a mutt. Real facts. Now that's let's be honest with that. Let's be real with that. Stop lying. Word. If you don't have no family tree, no literature, no background testing that you have these this yo, one dude said, Yo, I got pit staff mixed with bulldog. If you do not have no literature that say you have this shit in your bloodline, in your breed, bro, stop lying. Real facts. Let's be real with people. Let's stop lying to people. Let's stop mislabeling dog breeds. And that's real facts. Oh, I got a pit bull. What's the bloodline? Oh, I got an American bully. And all they understand it's this razor edge and Gotti. That's all. But if you do not have no literature saying that shit, then you don't have American bully. Real facts. That's real facts. Let's be honest. Let's stop being fake. Let's stop lying. Let's stop bullshitting your life. Real facts. The ORBA is here to register the dogs the right way but yo we you know we stopped because we've been looking you know observing how these registries do shit you can register a dog without no family tree with the ukc then you can take that ukc register with the abkc the adba the fucked up um, CKC and, and all the other fucked up registries out there. There's, I'm not hating on nobody registry, but you got to fucking clean this shit up. You really do got to clean this up. I'm just telling it like it is. You be mad, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. But, you know, and like this, like another thing, like these people sell these pet quality dogs, right? Pet quality. I have a certificate for these pet quality dogs. It's got to be spaded and neutered. It will say non-breeding on it. That means that dog can't breed. Like, I, I know this, right? A person with the AKC and the, the UKC, right? 
if the breeder says you can't breed that dog, they will go to another registry and register that dog for they could breed it. But my papers, right? You see what it says? Non-breeding. It says that. So they can't go to another registry, another form, another place and get papers to breed that pet quality dog. You understand what a pet quality? You got pet quality. You got breeding quality. Then you got co-ownership. You got pet quality. Pet quality. That's spaded and neutered dogs. That's dogs for pet people that don't want to breed. That don't want to um, make, you know, a profit. Because dogs, puppies and, and dogs, it's a profit. It's a um, product. It is a product. So we have that for y'all people that have pet quality dogs. And that's, you got to be honest. You have to be honest. We have breeding quality. You know, every breed, every dog, it's not a breeding quality dog. Real facts. And that's real facts. We also have co-ownership, real facts. You know, people hate, doesn't matter. I'm going to do what I'm going to do because I do the right thing. Not dishonest like these people. I'm not dishonest. And another thing, if you do not have no literature, no family tree, no information saying your dog is American Bulldog, cross to this and cross to that. If you don't have that, that means you have a mutt. And call your dog a mutt or bully breed mix. Real facts. These people don't have a Lapaha blooded bulldog, bro. They have Catahou bulldogs. These people do not have a Lapaha blue blooded bulldog. That breed is dead. Real facts. When Lane died, that breed died with her. So all these Merle, all these cattle wrestle dogs, the man um, Ray Colon, the man Ray Colon, right? He has his way of a bulldog. He has good dogs. I'm not hating on nobody's dogs. I'm not hating on nobody breed. But he doesn't have a Lapaha. He has Ray Colon Bulldogs. That's what his his breed should be. Like if you if I take a lion and breed it to a tiger, I keep saying this in every video, right? I can't call it a lion, I can't call it a tiger. That's the same thing in dog breeds. It's the same thing in dog breeds. And that's real facts. That's real facts. You want to lie about it. You want to whatever. If I take a Great Dane, right, with AKC papers and breed it to um, an English master, I can't call it a Great Dane no more. And I can't call it an English master. Do you get what I'm saying? I understand some of y'all don't think past one. You know, some of y'all don't think past one. You know, but trying to teach y'all the right way and trying to slow it down for y'all to make you understand and comprehend. If I take two AKC dogs and breed them together, right? Two different species. Get it? Get what I'm saying? Two different breeds, two different species. I can't call it the same breed no more. Do you understand that? So, we got this dude named Ray Colin. You know, he's got Hermes dogs in his dogs. Let's get this right. Hermes is not an old English bulldoggy. Hermes is his way of a bulldog. See, think about this. Every country has their way of a bulldog. You got the um, German boxer. That's the German bulldog. You got... You got... um. Argentino Dogos, 
That's the Argentino Bulldog. You got Chinese Bulldogs. You got all type. This every country, every person was trying to make the original working Bulldog. Because the original working Bulldog was not bred with pug to get this small English Bulldog type of dog that we see today. Think, people. Understand this, man. You think that small little dog could take down a bull and do bull baiting? No, it can't. So it was a big type of bulldog, a massive type of bulldog. Think about it. To control a bull. That's why the bull has that ring around it. Get this in your yellow, small yellow buzz heads. Real facts. These people don't get this, but, you know, understand this. Right? So let me tell you something. People hate me rapping. People hate me whatever. Doesn't matter to me. All I'm trying to do is teach y'all everything is not a fucking pit bull. Everything is not a fucking staff. Everything is not a fucking English bulldog. Everything is not American bully. Or everything is not a, a lapaha. Whatever. Real facts. It's a lot of fuckery going on. I can't take a, a, a purebred South African Mastiff and breed it to a county corso and then call it South African Mastiff. Can't do that. That's some bogus bullshit. Just to sell a dog and then you register it with the UKC? Because the UKC will register anything. Then you can take that UKC papers and register with the ABKC, the ADBA, the CKC, the um, UBA, the Boo Boo Boo. Shit, real facts. Lying got to stop. The mislabeling dog breeds has to stop. Real facts. Bro, <laughs> yo, I got a friend, right? Got wolf dogs, right? Register his dogs with the UKC just to just to see how fucked up the UKC is as German Shepherds. Half wolf and half German Shepherds. So, and they register it as a fucking German Shepherd. That is the weirdest shit. That's what UKC does. That's what that UKC does. UKC. Now tell me, that's not a fucked up registry, right? Because this dishonest people, they will say it's a German Shepherd, but it's probably got wolf in it. It's probably got some other fluffy dog in it. But you can register with the UKC as um, F1 or F2 or F3. Shit is bogus bullshit. That means... F1 and F2, that means one side don't have no pedigree, no family tree. The other side has it. So you can register with the UKC. That's some bogus bullshit. To me, both parents should have pedigree and family tree to get it registered. And it's not hard, bro. These people in this world, back in the days, they wrote shit on a piece of paper. They wrote it on piece of paper back before all these registries came about, before all these people that, you know, these registries, they wrote it on piece of paper. Real facts. That's real facts right there. For all of this shit, 18, yo, 15 something. They wrote it on piece of paper. Dog's name, put their dog name, that dog sire. His grandma, his grandfather, his great-great-grandma, his great-grandfather, you know? That's a, that's a literature. That's a family tree. Like you have one, like I have one. That's a family tree. Yo, stop picking up these dogs from these backyard breeders that ain't not going to spay and neuter the dog. Just going to give you a dog. For 200 to 300. And don't spade it. 
and let you breed with no papers. This is why they trying to ban dogs and shit like that because there's too much unpapered dogs in the shelter. It's too much, too much the government got to fucking take care because nobody wants to take care of these dogs. So think about it, right, people? If you put a value on these dogs, it, they will take better care of their dogs. It won't end up in the fucking shelter. It won't end up in the street. If you put a value, like, okay, this phone, right? The i fucking max plus cost fifteen hundred. You think I'm a I'm a I'm gonna put this shit in a case? I'm gonna put this shit in a a nice fucking case because when I drop it, I want it to last. I I don't want the screen to break. I don't want the shit to fuck up. Think about it. That's real facts. Same way as a dog, right? You put a value on something. You put three hundred to four hundred a value. They don't care about the dog. They don't give a shit about it. <laughs> they Real facts. And I saw this dude, right, said breeding should be illegal. It should, you should not be bred. So, bro, uh, every animal, right, every person, right, if you want pet quality, right, it should be pet quality. That should be, dogs should be spaded and neutered. Should be a dog that you know, you love and you have it in your house and you take care of it or you have it in the backyard and, and you got the proper kennel, the proper whatever, and you play with it. It's a it's a it's a family member. Now you got dogs that has pedigree and family tree. You do still take care of them. You still take very good care of them because it's got a value on it. It's tested for eyes, heart, elbows, hips. It's got the best score in hips, the best score in, in everything. Healthy as hell. That's a that's a dog. You put a value on that dog. You put a top value on that dog. Now, you want papers, you got to have the right papers. If your paper says American Pitbull Terrier and it's a blue dog and it's a razor edge and gaudy, with the UKC, it's not a pit bull. Real facts. 80% UKC dogs, 80% of ADBKC, 80% of ADBA dogs are really fucking American Staffordshire Terrier, Staffy Bull Terrier, fucking Blue Lacy Crosses, Band Dog Crosses, American Bully Crosses, as tagged and hanged as American Pit Bull Terrier. And these people say, oh, I got papers that says my dog is American Pit Bull Terrier. Do you know that don't mean shit? Do you know your dog can be tagged and hanged? Do you know that? Real facts. Do y'all get that? Do you, do you comprehend that? I don't think most of y'all comprehend that, but do you know your dogs could get tagged and hanged and somebody could say, yo, this I'm selling you a pit bull and you really don't have a pit bull because real pit bulls are, are gang bred dogs. Stop trying to change the, the pit bull breed. Stop trying to change the American bulldog breed. Stop trying to change the fucking South African breed. Stop trying to change the Lapaha breed because... Stop, stop trying to put color into these dogs and making them this breed, taking that breed, that established breed. It's a established breed. It has a standard already. And you're trying to change it to fit your needs because you want this color into this and you want to call it a bull terrier or um, an English bulldog or... Um, American bully. We ain't gonna go by the American bully because the American bully really don't have no set standard. And that's real facts. But these other breeds, American Bulldog has a set standards. 75% white with patches and cow patches and stuff like that. 
That's what American Bulldog is. There's three types. There's the hybrid. There's the classic. There's the standard. The standard is for more performing, more working, more hog hunting, shit like that. Real facts. So stop trying to change the color of the original standard to fit your needs. Let's talk about the old English bulldog game, right? There's one bloodline, David Levin, the man, the man that started the breed, and people trying to take his breed, mix this and mix that, and then call it a old English bulldog game, and then register with the another bullshit ass registry called the I O E B A, another. Registry that will register anything as a OD English bulldoggy just to get that that dollar, just to get that money, just to get fuckery talk about them. And I, yo, this is some fuckery that be going around. Too much fuckery. But y'all have a nice day. We here. We ain't going nowhere. Real facts. And anybody that hates my video, you do not have to watch it. You don't have to fucking, you don't have to watch it. Real facts. If you hate my video, if you hate what I'm saying, you can fucking not watch it. Real facts. I am the master of all bulldogs and I approve this message. I appreciate all of y'all watching. I appreciate y'all. Yo, have a nice day.